In this video, I'm going to show you a technique to clean up merged cells just like this. And it's super easy, so let's get straight into it. So a few days ago, I published a video. Let me bring it over here. And the video is titled How to Get uh, Data Ready for Tableau. And it's basically just some basic data cleansing techniques in order to load it into Tableau. And one of the exercises is if you have merged cells like this, right? Tableau doesn't like to read it. So what you have to do is you have to convert it from that form, and I've got it right here, into this form. You can see how it's all kind of filled out with the same amount of data, right? So the technique I showed was basically uh, you create a new column, you do a formula that looks at the previous value and it fills it. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, check out that video. Um, and then I got a, a uh, comment from, let me bring it over. Uh, where is it? From, where is it? Here, from Cole Booth. And he goes, you know, great video. I oh, know, did he say that? Oh, he said, thank you. And then he goes, try this technique instead. So I was like, all right, let me try, let me try this technique, right? Let me try this technique. So let me show you what it is. I tried it and I was just like, Oh my God, all my life, I've been doing it the way I've been doing it. And it could have been done so much easier, right? So this is the thing with Excel, with programming, no matter what, there is always a better way to do things. There's always interesting ways. And, you know, by you guys writing comments, Cole writing comments, and you guys sharing some of the things that I don't know, I'm learning something. But then I can also do videos to share this with heaps more people. So you're actually not just helping me, you're helping the entire community. So if you guys have like tips or tricks or techniques or super crazy things that um, you want to share, but you probably don't want to start a YouTube channel on it. Just write me a comment or how to do it or something like this. And I'll be happy to make a video and we can share the knowledge together. All right, so let's get into it and I'll show you um, how it works. So I've got uh, the raw form here. And what I'm going to do is I've just created a duplicate. And if you want to follow along, there's a link in the description below and you can grab it and you can practice on it. So here's the technique. Essentially, what you're doing is you're filling in the gaps in the merged cells after you demerge them and writing the formula in there directly, right? Which is just super crazy. All right, let me show you how it works. So for example, I have these ones right here. And let me just put a color on them so you can see which ones I'm talking about. And we'll put a grid. Okay, so we'll do it for this one. So you can see that there are merge cells, merge, 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 merge. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to demerge them, basically get rid of the merging. So we'll just highlight it and using this button right here, you can see it's highlighted. We're going to unhighlight it. Oop, there we go. And there you go. You can see that these have now filled out. Now, what I want to do is I want to fill in each one with the value above it. So this will fill with this one. These three will fill with this one. But short of actually going in and typing equals above it, it would be good if there was a way to do that equals above it for the filled gaps immediately. So this is the technique that Cole um, has shown, which is so trippy. All right, so you highlight the area, step one. Step two is you go to the home function uh, the home menu tab, you go find and select, and you got to click on go to special. Okay, so we go find and select, go to special, and we're going to select blanks. And we go OK. And what it's done is highlighted only the blank cells. Now, this is the part where it gets a little bit tricky. Without, you got to be careful not to press or type anything or else you got to start again. So if I go like this, I've got to start again. So just make sure you don't do like anything like that. So let's go go to special blanks. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go equals, right? I'm going to press up on the keyboard just so it selects the one above it like that. And then I'm going to hold control and press enter. What the hell, man? What the hell? Just when you think you know like everything about Excel and then like yeah, that's crazy. So Cole, thank you so much for the tip. Send me as many of these tips as you can because I'm always trying to get better myself. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Oh, wait, 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 I forgot something. So once you've written the formula in there, let me find one, like for example, that one, just to make sure you don't get errors later on if you're like moving things around is you need to get rid of the formula by pasting the values. So what you do is you highlight them, right? You copy like so, and then you right click and you can paste the values just by this, um, oops, 
by this symbol here. So pasting the values. And what happens is, if I go into formula mode, right, you can see that there are formulas that exist in here. Okay, so if what I want to do is I want to copy them and go paste values and it gets rid of the formula. So now you can do whatever you want to it. So don't forget that step or else um, if you move things around or delete them, then you may have inconsistent data. So don't forget to paste the values. Now that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.